Undertale by Toby Fox Part 6 begins with Flowey popping into the space where Gino Sands is, telling Gino he should have just gone with his plan, asking how many more resets for Gino's plan to work. Flowey telling Sands he enjoys watching Gino suffer, being trapped in the save screen, before Flowey gets taken back into the newly reset world. As Sands and Papyrus walk through the woods to their posts, Sands fails to keep his troubles under wraps. Papyrus starts talking to Sands about this, but Sands bursts out in insane laughter, just howling. Sands then goes on to say word for word what Papyrus was about to say. His entire dialogue, this rightfully scared Papyrus, and it seems that all of those memories Gino gave Sands is catching up to him. When Sands comes to, he apologizes for his outburst. Sands says that he doesn't want to ruin everything for Papyrus. He would if he spoke to him about his problems. After Papyrus had a long talk with Sands, Papyrus says that he is happy to see Sands finally open up to him. Papyrus would have rather that happened before the creepy laughing though, but he was happy nonetheless. Papyrus's words made Sands realize something. So Sands takes Papyrus to the ruins doors and waits for Chara to pass them. Sands states that things are about to get crazy and to just trust him. Chara opens up the door, meeting the two Skelebros past the door. Sands decides to ask for a hug, then grabbing Chara's wrist and yelling out to Gino. Gino takes this golden opportunity that Sands gave him and everyone is teleported to the save screen. 